Have you ever gotten up in the morning and looked outside? Quiet, still morning. It might be raining. The weather's kind of crummy. And you think to yourself, as you get ready to go out the door and think, am I happy? Is this what I want to be doing? Am I creating something good in this world? Am I contributing? Am I fulfilled? Am I using my creativity? Am I using my brains? Is this something I'm passionate about? I was that person that, that said, no, I was not happy. I was not fulfilled. I felt creatively stented. I felt exhausted all the time. I was anxious. I was so uncomfortable in where I was in life and knew that I was willing to be more uncomfortable to go look for what I was meant to do. I was a full-time high school teacher. And don't get me wrong, I love, love teaching. But the infrastructure that I was in, the working environment, all the things, it wasn't conducive to who I was, especially with someone with ADHD. I felt like I wanted to move in different directions. I wanted to try different things. I knew there was a different calling for me. And so I quit and I walked, I left behind a pension. I left benefits. I left a regular pay and I went to no salary. I had to start building out my own new path, my new direction. It was scary, but mostly exciting because I knew that in the years leading up when I really knew I was going to leave, I didn't just walk away from it. I started testing different things. I started Airbnb for the first time. I started doing photography and selling my services. And I knew that if I worked 100% on building these different side hustles and doing this stuff, I could create a life that I could support myself. It wasn't a lot of money to begin, but it was enough. And it kept fueling me to push and I learned more and I started diving into the world of business and learning from other entrepreneurs and other great minds and people that inspired me. And it didn't feel like work, truly it didn't. And you know, we say money is good and we need money, but you don't need a ton of money to do what you're super passionate about. And eventually the money does come. And I remember thinking, this is the time that I have to put in to just figuring out what I want to do. Life is short, but it's also really long if you're not doing something that you're passionate about. And so for the last seven or eight years, I have been documenting every step of the struggle, of the wins, the things that I've learned, every podcast note. I have thousands and thousands of notes for myself, things that I've learned from others, and I've condensed it. And I'm really excited, launching in the new year, I'm putting together all of the little things that I have learned over the years and created a four hour course from start to finish of something that's a starting point. So if you are someone that might be scratching that itch of thinking about something else for your career or your life, maybe you wanna start the first time ever making a little bit of money on the side Maybe you want to just have something that fuels your creativity and you can pay for it through, you know, selling one of the parts of your business that you're running. Whatever it is, you have to start some somewhere. I don't encourage you to jump off and go full time unless you have tested some things. But the first thing I did was start learning. I started taking courses and seeing what was out there and testing things. And someone with ADHD, I really wanted something that was a one-stop shop. I wanted to kind of learn all the pieces in a business that I need to know for someone that had no business background. And so I've decided to package something for you. For those of you that want to know, what does that look like? How do I find my target audience? What is the problem that I'm solving for customers? Do they want what I want? How do I know what they want? How do I start an email ca campaign? What does marketing look like? I don't know anything about that. I'm terrified of selling. How do I sell to someone? I don't feel comfortable talking about money. Do I get my own bank account? How do I do my finances? How do I know if it's, you know, if I'm generating enough profit? And then what if you need a grant? Or what if you want to pitch to someone on the street or you want to find 
another partner in the business. All these things I've gone through different ebbs and flow and while I'm learning, I've been documenting and I've packaged together in a four hour course from start to finish. And I'm so excited after the last two years of working on it, I'm launching it for you in the new year. And you'll be hearing from me little things about this space and what I've really built coming out of the last six years. I have successfully been able to sell $500,000 of my side hustles. It doesn't seem like a lot, but when they were all just a little bit of things here and there, I finally can say putting it all together, I have a lot to share with you. And I don't want some of you to fall flat on your face like I did so many times. You're going to still have lots of struggles on your own. Don't worry about that. Business is all about failing and learning from those failures and building. But I'm, my goal is to get you a little bit more ahead than where I was. And now business is easier than ever because we have all this artificial intelligence tools that I love and I specialize in helping businesses make it more applicable and how they can transform their idea into something much quicker. 10 years ago, writing a business plan versus now, it's so different. Creating content, generating you know, scripts, all these different things, it's so much easier today. So that's part of what I'm hoping to offer when we go into 2024. And I just thought I'd put it out there and let you know that I'm really excited. I've been working out for years and I've spent the last almost decade failing and learning and building and winning so that I can package it and share it with you. I really hope that you get to join the journey and jump on inside with me. Please let me know if you want more information and I'm happy to share it with you. Keep spreading your awesome and a big happy new year to all of you.